The world's leaders have committed to the United Nations' 17 Global Goals for Sustainable Development. Together, we can and shall achieve fantastic things by the year 2030. Global challenges are also local. Cities play a key role in the work of achieving the goals. We must do more with less and think smarter both at a system level and at an individual level. It must be easy to produce, consume, and act sustainably. Let's do this by thinking circularly. We need to find new ways of sharing, renting, reusing, repairing, and recycling. Thinking circularly is smart. Acting circularly together is even smarter. Sharing and resource cooperating scaled up to an urban perspective creates what we call urban symbiosis. In Malmo, we know that the biggest improvements and the most effective urban symbiotic development occurs when the city, knowledge institutes, industry, and system operators for energy, waste, water, and sewage think and act innovative together. Check this out. A flower producer is left with huge quantities of grain husks as a residual product. Instead of categorizing the husks as waste, they can be used for biogas extraction and become vehicle fuel. That's good. But husks directly from the mill unfortunately do not yield very much biogas. They would, however, make an excellent substrate for a new local business growing mushrooms. When the mushroom cultivation replaces its substrate, the structure of the used husks has changed and then yields considerably more biogas. Mushrooms also need some heat to thrive. A factory nearby has some residual heat of rather low temperature from its production. Previously, residual heat of such low temperature was not considered profitable to harness. But with industrial symbiosis, more players can act more sustainably and at the same time make a profit from what was previously only waste and residual products. And what do the people of Malmo get? Locally grown food, renewable fuel for their buses, and not least, new job opportunities. Ecologically, economically, and socially sustainable. Some symbioses are so simple that they seem obvious. Previously, the residual heat in the treated wastewater was lost into the surroundings, benefiting no one. Now, the heat itself is recovered using heat pumps and flows back into the city's district heating network. Thank you, system owners. Smart industry thinks circularly and is a vital piece in the puzzle of a sustainable, dense, green, and mixed city. We have chosen Malmo's port area to boost the industrial part of our urban symbiotic development. Where the sea meets the city, there is room for growth. Industrial tradition coexists with innovation. Residual flows of energy and waste can be converted into resources here with modest means. Untapped resource flows and various logistic solutions create the perfect environment for test beds. In Malmo, we show the way for how circular economy can take root and be implemented in industry and city development. Since several years, we've been pursuing development cooperation where the private and public sector seize and accelerate the innovative strength of industrial symbiosis. One of our most significant experiences is that profitable symbiotic innovations do not exist without cooperation. Circular economy and sustainable cities with smart industry are developed by people and systems, learning and acting in new ways together. Locally, and globally.